Oh, uh, well, the past is the past, and, you know, I'm really comfortable with this university. I love this university. You know, the best fans in the universe. And, you know, I've graduated from here, and, you know, I have fulfilled that obligation to get my degree. You know, so that decision process was a family one. Um, you know, but I'm looking forward to moving forward. Coach Pruitt, this defense, this team, and I'm excited to be here. Darren, was it tough to get into the right mindset? Not really. Um, you know, Coach Pruitt has a great staff. The, the Coach Shearer, my position coach, you know, I feel like we're moving in the right direction as a team, as a unit. What was last season like for you? How did you describe that process? Like you saw the big gap and then sit there last season. Uh, it was difficult for me personally, um, you know, not to be on the field. Um, but I'm excited to move forward. Um, happy to be back on the field this season. I'm um, looking forward to this year. Talk about the process coming back through physical injury and, and how it's been for you and how, you, how how you've been able to get back to where you are right now. It's difficult. Uh, it takes a lot of mental focus. Uh, my teammates really helped me a lot, um, so I'm happy to be there for them. What do you like about Bruce's defense? Uh, it's very multiple. Um, gives us a lot of different, you know, looks and different bases. Shows guys a lot of uh, attributes that they can use in the game. You know, so I'm just excited to move forward with it. Does it change your responsibilities from previous defenses here? Not necessarily. Just got to stay consistent, disciplined defense. Um, that's what we got to hang our hats on. How are you feeling physically right now? Feeling great, uh, 110%. When was the last time you felt as good as you do now, just in terms of physical? Um, I'll say the spring um, before the season that I, I got hurt in the fall, fall camp. Darren, how Pruitt praised you for how you're getting into defense and your knowledge of it despite not being around in the spring very much. You were limited. You know, how, how have you done that? It was it film work in the, in the summer? How, how tough has it been? Well, in the spring, I still attended all the meetings. Um, I'm kind of a quick study. Um, so just kind of everything that we honed in through the summer, just try to stay focused with that. I'm understanding my place in the defense and moving forward like that. When did you hit that point where you felt like you were 100%? Um, I'll say right when we hit J1 in the summertime. You know, shout out to our strength staff. They're the best in the country, getting me prepared every single day. Um, so I felt really comfortable with them moving in the summer. Darren, how, when how, going important, how, how important is this fall camp for you to gain, gain confidence You know, through you know, maybe you're 100%, but getting back to, to hitting people and being on the field? I feel like it's important for everyone on the team. Fall camp is a big time of the year for our team to come together. Um, so it's, it's definitely important for every individual, for sure. When you were going through that process this summer, who did you talk to? Was there any advice that stood out just in terms of when you're trying to make that decision or whether to come back or go somewhere else? Uh, really just, I just focused on what was the most important thing, which was the team. <coughs> and you know, no individual is bigger than the team. So I just tried to stay focused on the goal at hand. And you know, that's winning the championship. What did, what did Coach Pruitt, did he have to give you a, a sales pitch to you to come back, or kind of what was his message to you uh, around that time? Not necessarily. He was, it wasn't a sales pitch. He was just very supportive of whatever decision I wanted because he always wants the best for me, he wants the best for any player on his team. You know, so I was happy with that, that he just supported my decision. It wasn't a sales pitch or force. It was just he was supportive. Darren, not just about you personally, but when you look at this team, I mean, we have a coaching change. A lot of times you see a lot of transfers, a lot of turnover, and that has not been this way. With this group, why do you think that is with this coaching staff? What have they been able to do to build those relationships? It's a great staff. I mean, they're very vulnerable. They're football coaches, period. They've won a lot. You know, their their background speaks for us. So I feel like people have just bought into that and trust in the process with them. Yeah, but I feel like we have, you know, a lot to prove every year. I mean, we just got to stay consistent. You know, if we're not at the top spot, we always got a lot to strive for. So I think every year is a do you feel like you have the talent to make that improvement? Yes, I do. I feel like um, everybody is approaching every day like it's a work day, um, just trying to improve every day. What was the feedback you got from teammates and the fan base when you were going to the whole thing? Um, I really just tried to focus on what was the most important thing, which is my team. Um, you know, just tried to you know eliminate a lot of distractions out of it, and you know just focus on getting better every day. What was the that pushed you to decide that? What was the biggest thing that, that you know when you were kind of wavering? What was going to push you to say, you know, I'm here. This is officially where I'm going to be for, for the rest of my career. Uh, my teammates. You know, this great university. I love it. Um, you know, the fans are the best in the country. Um, I couldn't dispute that at all. You know, so really, just really being around my teammates made that just an easy decision to. Coach so, praised your instincts. Do you pride yourself on being instinctive? And, and how about that process? And uh, how hard is it to develop that that skill? Um, being instinctive, being explosive, I feel like are two great attributes to have as an inside linebacker. 
you know, so it definitely helps my game a lot to be that extent. So yeah. if it was an easy decision, what was, why were you thinking about going somewhere else in the first place then? Uh, like I said, I got my degree from this university in three years, so I just had some options. Um, you know, it was a decision that wasn't lightly or emotional. You know, it was definitely a decision that I made, so that's how I went about it. Terry, you've been a guy that had not seen a lot of injury up until a couple of years ago. Has it been, t has it been easy to get down and you've been sitting on the sidelines? For sure. Uh, my teammates definitely keep me up. My coaches keep me going. Um, so, uh, but definitely going through injury the last you know, a couple of years that I have has definitely been tough, but it's only made me stronger as a player and a man. Having the degree out of the way, how much can that can help you focus this fall? And what is your schedule like then in terms of what you're doing? I'm actually going to be attending grad school in the fall and school of communications. Um, it's definitely lighter than undergrad uh, classes, but I'm looking forward to focus on the season and you know the couple hours I'm taking the class. Darren, in your in your absence last year, uh, Daniel and, and Cortez got a lot of a lot of playing time. What did you kind of how did you see them grow over the course of the year? And I guess how much better are they now? Maybe well, I just really tried to have my hand as much as I could out on them while I was on the sideline, lead them as best way I could. Um, if I saw some things, help them in the ways that you know I felt like were positive to the team, you know. But definitely, their growth is definitely helpful to our team as a whole, and, you know, and our whole linebacker group to improve. All right, thanks, Darren. What was your degree in? Um, sports management.